Chateau du Pont. The only five-star restaurant in the Seattle area that serves both smiles and atmosphere. For close to 30 years, the Chateau has upheld a lasting legacy. In that time, she has served many great individuals, including Ted Kaczynski, Jim Jones, Charles Manson, and the late Ted Bundy. Bearing the city's most exquisite wine menu, and catered by the renowned chef Pat McGregor, the Chateau has continued to attract a crowd of enthusiastic patrons. Today they will be serving the infamous culinary critic Buds McGree, a five-time Texas State yelling champion and all-American bastard. His critique will be putting the Chateau to its final test. I'm most eager for this evening's dinner engagement. I have personally prepared the menu for our guest, and I plan the evening will proceed flawlessly. This is the moment that my great-grandfather, Pierre Dupont, had longed for ever since he opened the chateau back in 1903. Uh, I've been kicking, kicking and cooking for them rich bastards for as long as I can remember. My mother said I had a way with, with food and uh, ought to be a cook, uh, you know, and then, then we got Mr. Fancy Pants in here, the other room, oh God, he goes on and on about having a perfectly set meal, well, you know, I know how to do this, and he doesn't have a clue, yeah, you know, you don't feed people like a bunch of dogs, yeah. <clears throat> it's an art form, and it's pure, and it's simple, tonight, I'm going to cook from the heart, and it's going to be the best bloody meal ever cooked by one man. You know, I've been working with Patty ever since I can remember. It's it's been such a long time, and when I think about it, truly, I I really try to keep him on track. But I have to say, working at the chateau, my true love is feeding the strays that come around. Everybody has a place at the table at the chateau, whether they've got four legs or two. Look, I just put up with Mr. Fancy Pants to get a paycheck. Uh, you know, he, he sits in his office all day thinking of new and creative ways, you know, to make uh, life miserable for me. He thinks he's a god. He's uh, just typically, to me, a high-functioning moron. fit for a king. All we need is a bit more uh, seasoning, I think. Well, let's see. Oh, dear. Here we Here. go, darling. More seasoning. Yes, there oh, you are. Thank you. Thank you. Honey, don't forget to take your eye out. The doctor said, remember, rotate twice a day. Oh, rotate a eye. You're absolutely right. It's a devil, it is. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'd do without you.
Right. So our guest has arrived. Is the uh, Super Bowl ready? Yes, sir. It's right there. Ah. Excellent. There you are, sir. The chef's fine dispatchers. Oh, yes, that looks very nice. Do you have any salt and pepper? Salt and pepper, yes, 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 right away. Come in. I'll get it. Get your salt and pepper. All right, we need some salt and pepper shakers, pronto. Oh, right away. Yes, thank you. Hey, I'm saying, uh, do you have a moment? I have a bit of a problem. I yes. can't seem to uh, find my uh, glass eye. Uh, it's not. It's not here. Uh, don't worry about it, Patty. I'm, I'm sure that you'll find your eye somewhere. Yeah, it is, but uh, to tell you the truth, uh, the eye was right up here. It left it when I took it out, and I'm afraid it might have fallen in the soup. The chances that it fell in the soup are about a, a million to one. I would have seen it. I mean, uh, I, just don't worry about a thing. Uh, oh, darn. That stain will never come out. When I heard that scream, I, I just panicked. I figured that my career as a restaurant owner had ended as of that point, and, well, I had to take it out on somebody. You clumsy buffoon! <laughs> oh, right away! <laughs> you know, in this particular situation, I felt like the, the frying pan was, uh, was the best solution. Normally, when he gets belligerent like this, uh, I just get him drunk on mouthwash. <clears throat> and, you know, he comes right down. But I needed an instant solution. He was clearly out of control. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, Kate, I uh, guess it's time to start the pate now. But what about Monsieur Dupont? Well, we're just gonna have to do the meal without him. Start the pate, I say. You finish that for me now. I got to hit the head right upstairs. Okay, Patty, whatever you say. Give him a hard slap, by golly, that's all right. 